gone are the days of painstakingly editing every frame by hand. Welcome to a new era of video editing, where creativity meets artificial intelligence in perfect harmony. Today we're revisiting Filmora's top 10 AI features, from the least to the best. Our very first feature to reveal here is silence detection, which is number 10. Silence detection has been a time-saving feature since it was in Wondershare Filmora. The problem is forgetting these tools when we're editing. Now when your audio has some gaps in between, maybe when you record you have some seconds to read the next line, or maybe for some other reason. Now when you are editing, you have to split every silent space and delete it, which can be time-consuming. With silence detection, select your audio, and then select this tool right here. If you can't find the tool here, just click right here and drag it to the toolbar. So a new window will show up with a preview window, a timeline, and the settings panel. So here, you don't need too much extended threshold volume because it will cut off your audio. So I think the default settings can do the best job here. Once you're done, hit start. Then export to the main timeline. So all the gaps are deleted, just in a snap. Number 9. Now our second feature is really interesting. Just check this for 7 seconds. This is right on beat, isn't it? Now instead of taking your 30 minutes, you can just do this in one minute. You will find this on the start menu of your Filmora. And after selecting it, here you will see a preview window, timeline, and the settings panel. Select here to import your files. For this example, I have downloaded these images from Pixels, but you can still use video clips. Here you can choose the length of your video. Here you can choose the audio you will be using, but in this case, I will use the default audio. Here you can choose the beat cut speed, fast or slow. I'll turn it on fast. And these are the effects, RGB, glow, video wall, and blur. So if you increase it to full, it will be applied to almost every beat. After that, click analyze. Then export to the timeline. Now here you can make a few tweaks around, but the good part is that all the beat frames are marked, as you can see the markers on all high frames in the timeline. So whatever adjustments you want to make, the beat frames are already marked. Number 8. So now, when you record your long-form content, there are some parts of your video that you may want to upload as shorts, or maybe on Facebook or Instagram. Let me tell you, this was such a time-consuming task before we got the auto-reframe in Filmora. First, you had to change the resolution in the project settings. And then animate frame after frame to keep your subject in the center of the frame. But that took a lot of your time. On the start menu, select auto reframe. From here, you import the video you want to reframe. Now let's say you want to make it a YouTube short, which is the default resolution here. Click on Analyze. In a few seconds, your video will be reframed to your preferred resolution. And then you go ahead and click Export. Number 7. This feature really deserves to be in the top 10 of Filmora's AI features. It's the voice you're hearing right now. Of course with some editing and other software. I will show you exactly how I create my voiceovers with this AI text to speech. Copy the maximum of 1000 characters from your script. Add a quick text, delete the text here. And then paste your script in there. Click this icon for text to speech. Make sure your internet connection is active and then choose the character from here. And here I choose this Jack. Then the next step. In a few seconds, the voiceover will be in the timeline. After that, I will use Audacity to make my audio sound better. 
And if you want to know the exact setting I use in Audacity, you can just let me know in the comments. Number 6. This is such a useful feature, and you will see why I have chosen it in the top 6 features. If you record with two or more cameras, you need to have all of your clips synced in post-production. This can be a hard thing to do, or else you end up having the audio ahead of the lip-sync and reactions that your subject will be showing. Instead of trying to match files by yourself, just select both of your clips, right-click and detach the audios. Then select this tool right here, Audio Synchronization. So this will use the audios to sync your clips. Now your subject's actions and the audio are matched perfectly. Number 5. Here is the first one in the top 5. AI Audio Stretch. This is again one of those tools that editors forget about. And yet they keep struggling, taking too much time on a single project. I preferred this tool to be in the top 5 because I value the effort I put into editing my audio and would like to take as little time as I can. On almost every tutorial I make, I add background music just like this one. So in most cases, the audio is shorter than the video. Before audio stretch, you had to copy and paste the audio until it fills the gap. Instead, just use your audio stretch tool from the toolbar and then stretch to fill. Now you must take note. You don't have to use this tool on your voiceovers because it will cut and mix your audio without order. So you must always be careful when using this tool. Number 4. Welcome to the world of artificial intelligence. Actually this boy does not exist. That's AI image tool within the top 4 of my list. This feature is actually improving in almost every update. For you to see the importance of this tool, just search on Google. You will find out that on most websites, you have to pay for every image created. Now in Wondershare, you can create up to 20 images every day. So this is how the tool was functioning. So I have just downloaded my first reveal video of this feature, just to give you a clear comparison of how the feature has improved compared with this current version. Now Filmora didn't just improve the image creation quality. You now have all 8 different styles to express what's in your mind. Number 3. This is a useful feature for almost every type of project. Most obviously when editing thumbnails. If you try to remove background online, you will need to pay for credits, and if you want to do it for free, the quality will be removed. In the previous versions, we were using this human segmentation. However, it's a paid feature, which you can't export if you don't have the Active Effects subscription. But when Filmora 12 was released, we got access to the same human segmentation, but now with the AI portrait, because these two actually perform the same function. Just double tap your image and go to AI tools. Here, choose the AI portrait and set it on. Here you are, without any quality loss. Number 2. Now I'm in the top two choices on my list. And here we have the AI smart cutout. This is not very old, it came with the first release of Filmora 12. Actually, this is a great tool that can be used to show off creativity. For example, here is my first video reviewing this feature. And in one of my recent videos, I created the walk by transition using this tool. This feature works differently from other background removing tools because it can remove anything from anywhere. So the reason why this feature can remove anything is because you actually show it where to remove and where not to remove. And when you have selected the wrong portion by mistake, you can undo or use this to regain the portion. Number 1. We all agree that someone can have the best camera and make the worst shoot. Perfect tool, proper editing tools, yet there is no greater video. 
Despite having all these great AI tools, we still need this. That is why ChatGPT came our way. As much as we need that natural creativity, AI is going to spark the ideas in you. And then your natural intelligence will bring those ideas to life. You can select this tool on Start Window. It will help you with different and better ideas. So this is my own view of making this list according to the excellence of each tool. If you have your own view on which is the most useful tool, comment below, it will help someone. You can watch this video to see what's possible using Smart Cutout.